Okay, so I'm going to pretend I'm 19 again. That goes back quite a few years. Um, but uh, I would say that uh, the dorm room replication that we have at this exhibit pretty closely resembles the dorm room I occupied once upon a time, uh, back around 1975. Uh, we did not have uh, laptops, let alone uh, 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 tabletop computers in 1975. Instead, our word processor was a Smith Corona portable typewriter. We did not have cell phones, but we might, if we were lucky, have a, a wall phone or a trim line uh, telephone in our dorm. I believe we usually had a stack of magazines uh, nearby on the ready. House plants, of course, were a must because you have to make the room your home. There were certainly a lot of personal appointments to the dorm room that made it yours. And this, of course, is as important today as ever. Uh, but in 1975, the, uh, the artifacts we used were, uh, were a bit different. Uh, for music, we played back LPs or long playing records on a stereo system. And for our other uh, reading entertainment, we might have uh, uh, an assortment of books from our uh, curriculum, but also some popular paperbacks that we might have picked off the shelf at Iowa Book back in the day. So, uh, as uh, time-specific as this dorm room is, I think there's a timelessness to it in terms of how we as uh, students and uh, later alumni could uh, identify ourselves. And that's what a dorm room is all about, isn't it?